and welcome back. And today, what's driving you crazy? A new segment I've been telling you about this past month where you, the viewer, gets to tell me your concerns about anything involving the roadways. Well, today we address Raul F. Facebook's comment involving distracted driving. Let's go ahead and take a look here at your screen. Raul says, what's driving him crazy is people on their phone without a care about others on the road. I took his concern to El Paso police and here's what I learned. Data shows distracted driving is one of the main causes of crashes on roadways. The Texas Department of Transportation last year reported that there were 2,611 traffic crashes caused by distracted drivers in El Paso. And out of those crashes, there were nine deaths and 32 serious injuries. I went out to see just how bad of a problem it is in one area of El Paso. I drove down to this busy intersection on Mesa on the west side. And as you can see, I saw people talking or looking down at their phone like this person here and another what appears to be applying makeup as they waited for the traffic light to turn green. Sergeant Javier Sembrano, spokesperson for the El Paso Police Department, knows this issue all too well and explains why people should avoid even the simplest distractions. But it becomes very important that when we do get behind the wheel, we understand the responsibility of that and we have to take that, that moment, clear our mind, and make sure that we get ourselves safe to where we're going and that we keep all of our community safe as well. I asked Sembrano how the police determines if a crash is caused by a distracted driver. Part of the, the case would be if there is some type of suspicion that there could have been a cell phone uh, that was uh, being used through a um, subpoena, the phone records are subpoenaed and uh, we'll try to be able to see if that phone was being used during the time that the crash uh, took place. Although there are many things that constitute distracted driving. Police aren't the only ones who see the dangers that distracted driving can cause. Del Sol Trauma Medical Director Dr. Jesus Gamas says his staff deals with crash injuries frequently. He says it only takes seconds of taking your eyes off the road to cause major injuries that can potentially change your life. Somebody up ahead is pushing the brakes or stopping and you don't notice and you'll rear end that person. Uh, there could be neck injuries, rib fractures, uh, broken legs. Uh, your car can be sent rolling. Um, if, you're, if you're not wearing your seatbelt, then you can be ejected from the vehicle. Dr. Gamma says not enough people, if any at all, are pulling over to a safe spot to send a text or answer a phone call, but that doesn't mean you can't take precautions while driving. Put your phone away out of sight. Uh, let people know that you, you're that while you're driving, you don't uh, respond to text messages or answer phone calls. Uh, avoid adjusting the navigation while on the road. And police tell me if you're caught texting while driving, that fine alone would be up to $200. Now, this segment is airing every Thursday, and I want to hear from you about what's driving you crazy. You can comment on my post on Facebook, on X, or email me directly, dgomez at kfoxtv.com.